Hi, my name is Dillis. I'm one of the owner for Sobe Street and Scrappy Betty Designs. And let me just introduce you quickly. This is Elena. She's my assistant. Sobe Studio, we do classes for teen, tweens, and adults in Toronto. So my job involves a lot of designing, pattern making, and sewing. Being the one person who does everything at the studio. So I got into sewing, I hate to say, by accident. I actually failed sewing when I was a kid. I was supposed to be in business economy in my university first year. And at that time, my friend was saying, well, you like fashion, you like doing things with your hands, so why don't you try the uh, textile and fashion program at the university? So I did, and I went to the faculty, and I asked them, you know, I'm interested, what do I need to get in? And they say, well, do you know how to sew? I don't know how to sew at all. So that summer, I spent the whole entire two months learning how to sew and putting a portfolio together, and somehow I got in. And that's how I started. We opened the studio originally to focus for adults. But then along the way, we got parents asking, um, I have a daughter who is interested in sewing. There was no one who can teach her. Would you have a kid's sewing class? So I'm like, sure, why not, right? I like kids, they fun. You know, so we start having like beginner sewing class for kids. Kids are so different than adults. They learn differently. They see things differently they approach things differently as well. And then before you know it, we just sort of started a more bigger program for kids. I love sewing because it brings me to my happy place. It's that peacefulness. The moment you got, you got your fabric, you got your design, you got an idea. It's like engineering. You got all these random pieces cut out and now you gotta put them all back together into something beautiful. And th I think that's what attracts me the most. For me in sewing, people always ask me, what's the most important tool? My answer is the scissors. You cannot go cheap on your fabric scissors. That is like the most important tool. It's like your bread and butter. It's like, for me, it's like the moment you get your fabric, you get your scissor and you're cutting it. That sound. That smoothness, it's like skating. You can't like, if you get cheap scissors, you never get that satisfaction. When Ursula from LDH approached me, email, I'm um, saying, hey, we're lo local brand from Toronto, we family run, we have some scissors, you know, we're in wondering if you're interested in like testing them out, just to see what your thought is. And I met her, they're lovely people, super fun, think like I do. So she brought some samples and I loved them. They were really good, like they had a good feel in your hand. They cut through really nicely, you know, and I would give her some of my feedbacks and they try to make the product better. And I use the scissors to studio now for all my students because I think they're great products and everybody who uses them love them. Especially the little kids who got like little hands, they have a hard time cutting. Having good sharp scissors, they don't have to like struggle as much. Even when they cut the scissors upside down, they still can cut it, so it's good. My name is Dillis. I'm a maker. I'm a sewing instructor. And I'm a doggy lover. Crazy dog lady. And I use LDH scissors. <laughs>